Good morning. So uh, yesterday I built up a bit more in my sort of to-do list for Snippy Pixie Next. Um, but first things first, uh, there's been a new release of Wales, uh, beta 32, uh, version 2, beta 30, no, version 2, beta 43. That's hard to say. Um, so I want to um, make sure the project's working with that. Um, and then I'll start looking at things in the to-do list. Um, so, okay. But yeah, so I've got, um, I actually packaged up the Nix package um, last night. Um, so I can probably steal some stuff from here. Uh, let's grab the shards. So we're going to want this. And then if I come back to Snippet Pixie, um, and then I just edit the Wales overlay here. Oh, well, just to confirm. Right, so well, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, we're using old version there. Interesting. Let me just come out of that and then back in again. See which one it picks. Yeah. That's because I was doing some testing. We'll see what that happens there. So this should still be Wells 42. It looks like it is. Yeah. Um, so I should be able to update this overlay in this project so that I specifically say I want 43. And then I'll just update this overlays shards. This one here now. Okay. All right, so now we should be able to switch to forty three. Just kick it in again, reload the environment. There we go, it's trying to build 43. See what happens. Kind of semi cheated there by just grabbing the uh, the shards from the previous build, but it should be fine. It's what's what's going to happen when we uh, when it comes through Nixos? It'll be that kind of setup. Okay, so if I do which whales now, it's version 43 in theory. Um, if I do whales version, it should say it is. And whales doctor should give me all the bits. Yep, looks okay. Okay, um, so let's make sure that's the only thing so far. Uh, the daemon's still running, so we can just nip into the GUI's bit here and just do a whale dev and uh, make sure it's all working.
Oh, it might come up okay. Uh, all the usual stuff works. If I go in here, I can then come out. Um, clicky things are okay. I can remove. Uh, this is all going to be fixed up. But yeah, that looks okay. Needs a bit of style in here. And these things need to have um, focus rings when I tab through. That's what I'm going to be doing later, hopefully. If I can work it out to do it. Um, yeah, okay, it looks okay. Now let's do a Wells build as well. Oops, don't need to do that. I'm going to do a make. Now I should be able to just quickly run the bin. There we go. Same things, everything looks fine. Yeah. Uh, if I just run it in search and paste mode. Get the other version there. Paste works. Cool. Great, good stuff. Uh, right, let's um, make sure nothing else happens since then. All right, okay. Of course. Dependencies switched to 43 because I did the Wells dev, which is what we want, which is fine. Um, what I'll do then is while I'm here, just make sure the replace at the end is up to date as well. And I'm going to switch this out because I use my own version and pull in upstream as and when I need it now. So I'm going to do that. So when I'm doing a sort of bleeding edge build, I'll uncomment this last line um, and obviously make this match whatever's up here, uh, the actual requirement. Um, and then obviously my actual checkout of the Wells project uh, determines the libraries and stuff we're actually using as such. So, to double check, everything's okay there. Looks good. Okay. Didn't run the test, but no, oh well, the build's going to do that. Okay, uh, right, so 
to-do list. So um, I think as we were kind of working on GUI stuff at the moment, um, let's see, we've got the settings page styling and accessibility. I think that's the one that I'm going to need to kind of work on because uh, it's not really usable with a keyboard at the moment. Um, so we're going to work on, yeah, 23 and 26, I think. Let's see what we can do there. Um, what should we do? All right, well, let's just open it up, I suppose. Okay, um, so this is the Svelte component for the uh, setting screen. Uh, in the end, it just ends up being, um, there's a toolbar, which is the back button, basically. Um, that's all we really have there. And um, we've got a title. Um, and then a subheading, um, which has the checkbox here for the focus search. Now that needs a little bit of fix up. I'm surprised I haven't got any global styling for inputs yet. Thought I might have for checkbox, but maybe not. Okay, we've got obviously text, but no, I've not done anything for checkboxes, so I should probably do that here um, in case I use checkboxes anywhere else. So let's get uh, the dev thing up and running. so that we can monitor our changes. A lot quicker once it's got all its dependencies. Uh, right, so we'll stick this on there and make it smaller, put it in the corner And then have a look at this. So, hmm. So the accessibility issue is this effectively. Because I've effectively disabled some of the uh, focus ring type stuff. Hmm. Kind of, I think, need to make this a little bit more specialized or specific, should we say. So if I take that out of the moment, see what happens. It's not going to trigger every thing, is it? Yes, oh, it did. That's okay. 
All right, so let's come out and then go back in. If I tab through, I'm not seeing anything. Okay. I might end up having to do this on the uh, browser so I can probably inspect. I could, I can do a right click, inspect element and stuff. So, but oops. Why is that not sizable now? That's interesting. Yeah, see, then I don't have to start making this bigger, and I don't really want to. Hey, there doesn't have color on this. Dunk. That's better. Right. So in theory, I see our problem here is I'm not used to this setup either. I'm used to Firefox. So in this label, we have an input. If I force focus, okay, it's doing that. This doesn't make any difference. Let's make it really visible. Okay, it's really not working, is it? That's not doing what it's supposed to do there. Yeah, so it's definitely not doing what it's supposed to do there. Not seeing anything. Is it going to um, allow anything? It's not showing anything, okay. Just not working there, is it? Okay, that's a dead end box things. Let's go do it in the uh, in the browser. Right. Well, we'll get better starting, unfortunately, <laughs> um, because it's not WebKit. <clears throat> it's picking up on my own thing there. 
So what I want Hmm, what do I want? Do I want the checkbox or the label to get the focus? Maybe it's just because I don't use these pseudo element things anymore, but for uh, in dev tools, but I am not getting what I expect to happen here at all. It's not picking up my changes. Okay, interesting. Hmm. So the input's basically just not picking up on these things. Um, let's take this out. Now that doesn't make any difference there. Where did I have in the global? Right, I'm trying to think of a way of properly setting these things. So at the moment, we've got a hover here on these elements, like the buttons. But they are not getting focus either. So if I Of course, it's not a proper button either. That'd be part of the reason there. If I set focus on there, Like about Hmm. I 
Okay. I have an idea for the icons. They should be easy enough. We hope. No. All right, so that's definitely got focus now. If I try to go to the bottom, it doesn't make any difference. Ah, right, okay, it has here though. Because I've added, right, okay, it can't get focus at the moment. It's only because I've added it. This is part of the accessibility issue with these buttons because they're not really buttons. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I can use a button or not, it would be better. The issue is I want to have these SVG icons in there. I don't want to um Definitely don't want to rely on font and symbols. Hmm. Well, I guess. I could try giving it focus. I presume that's just tab index. Because by default they don't have one. Better double check that actually. Hmm. Interesting. Focus within. That might be my solution for the uh, checkbox. I'll see you there in a second. Check that 
a second. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's have a play with this then. So First things first, on the label, well, I want to do highlight color. So let's do that. Right, so that's got focus there. Come off and come back on. Okay. That's good. That needs some styling, but at least the label's focused now. Um, now, are we even getting focus? on the buttons when I tab to them. I don't think we are. Let's try this. Yeah, okay. Now, does it work though? So, if I hit space, <coughs> excuse me, no, if I hit return, no. Mm. 
Oh, it's got something in my throat. That's problematic because that should do that. So I'm going to have to put in keys for that. I really wish they were proper buttons. I just don't think, don't think I can get them to behave how I wish as buttons. Let's have a go. I think accessibility, I really wish they were buttons, so let's try that. So we'll just take these out for the moment. Maybe that button. Should go bang now, really, because you can't really have a div inside. So let's take that out. Well, Yeah, I'll just take it out for the moment, but it might come back as a span in a minute. Yeah, yeah that's gonna, it's not happy. This is the problem. You can't really have SVGs in a button. Hmm. OK. 
gets killed it. Just think about how I'm gonna deal with them. Missed. Oh, it's working on that button now as well. That wasn't working before. So it's definitely working on that. But if I hit space or enter, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Well, I guess I can just override that. Just wish there was a way to put the SVGs. In the button. It would be okay if I had um, the SVG and then a button like here. And you styled it so it looked like a link. But it wouldn't work here where I don't actually want any text. Behind the scenes I might, if I have an alt or something. So the SVG itself has to be the body of the button. It has to be usable with keyboard. So I think I'm going to have to do keyboard driven catches here. So I guess Key down or key up? There's no... I think key press is effectively deprecated, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's do key up. What we can do actually, because it's a button, we can catch that here. So we'll just have function to key up, which takes an event. Um, Uh, 
and in. <clears throat> now I'm going to work out what the bits are in it. Uh, and let's do that from the docks. Um, Okay. I should be looking at my previous code. Just thought I've got code for this already. Um, so I think it's in it's in here. No. So that's the one I want. Event key enter. Try that first. Make sure that's working. Um, hmm. Now I want to dispatch a different type of event. I've got a dispatch in here I can nick. Yep. <laughs> cool. Mm. And just nicking code from previous bits. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to dispatch something instead. Uh, We'll call it a 
activate. So I should have done it before really to make it a proper button. That's what we really need. So why Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing here. Am I? Forgotten how to use a dispatcher. It's been a while. That's right. Okay. Why? What's going on there? What's changed? Oh, that must be coming from different docks because that because this is a svelte thing so um so yes yeah, so it must be my id is just getting confused because that's definitely okay right so on click um is also going to have to call that kind of thing anyway. Well, I don't care about the event in this case. I just want to dispatch the event. Okay, it's got too long now. Right, so we're going to click, we're going to do a dispatch, and now any time I use an icon button, I need to catch that instead. So a list snippet screen. Hmm, double check these things here. Okay. That's all right. So those two will be okay.
We don't actually expect anything. I haven't got any other clicks, have I? No. Okay. Uh, set in screen itself we need. This is where we actually have the use. So in the toolbar And then icon button here. And here. And then the final one, there. And none of these expect an actual click, click. Okay. Now let's check the last. Are there anything else? The welcome screen. Handle add snippet. Yep, just does a push. So we can just switch that to activate. Handle import snippets. Again, doesn't care about the actual contents of the click. That's the last of those two. Uh, set in screen we've done. List snippets we've done. And welcome. All right, so in theory, I think we're up to speed on that. Activate and click handle click. If we do an enter on there, it's got the focus. To get them all, didn't we? Yep. Okay. So if I hit end on there, it comes back. That's good. If I so that hasn't because the label, I'll need to do that. Space works because it's the checkbox. Hmm. Okay, now if I come down to here and hit enter, do we get an export? We do. Excellent. Okay. Uh, right. So probably just need to activate on space as well.
Is it just event key? And then the space? Or is there like a special one? We'll see. what happens with that. Yep, space worked. If I do an import here, space, yep. Okay. Right, so they are working. Our space on there comes back, that's good. Do you need to fix up? How do you get to the settings here? Might have to do some shortcut keys. Like this. That's what you expect. It just doesn't look great. But that's working getting the focus I wanted and I can activate them as well that's good I just can't get to them but I can't get to the plus button either and it's whether I want to put them in the tab tab list or not I did take them out because mind you this is a different mode so the reason why they weren't in the tab list earlier was because I was using this same screen for search and paste mode but in search and paste mode these buttons don't exist So I could put them back in to the tab index. I don't think about that. Oh, now it's in. Interesting. Oh, so I did put them in, but at the end of the tab index. Sort of. So if I tab into the list, then out of the list, it goes to add, and then it goes to settings. Then we lose focus, and then it's back to the top. Hmm. I wonder. If I go backwards,
I wonder if it'd be more usable, or accessible rather, just to move. one of those buttons to the other side. Maybe the settings. And then it flow correctly. It's kind of not right visually, though. Hmm. I have to think about that. For the time being, We can get through all these things. I just need to update the styling on the input there. But again there. Okay. So I'll come back to the um, settings, buttons and stuff. Okay, so we have usable. Still to work. They will work. Just need to update that. Um, right. what we're we going to do for it. So input type equals checkbox. First of all, width, it's not quite right. So, hmm. okay, so that's not what I wanted. I'll change the text size. Font size even. Make it too. Make it huge. Doesn't make any difference. Okay. All right. We're not going to be able to that because it's obviously hard coded into WebCat. And uh, I'll have to look at that. Might change the size of it. I'm not bothered, but I thought I might just beef it up a bit. Okay, so I'm assuming I've never styled a checkbox before. I don't think I've had to. So I'm presuming this is wrong. Um, 
we're gonna use input background color take that as well Maybe that's right. Maybe it should be white. Maybe you can't start it. Hmm. Can you not override the styling? All right, so buttons, check boxes. Basically, it can't change anything. Hey ho. Well, I don't want to get into the realms of 
a custom checkbox. I'd rather use a native control if I can. So, kind of screwed there, really. Hey ho, it is what it is. Uh, we will have to effectively. Could do the webcare thing. Don't know if it's going to. No. Not going to help me. Was it parents? It's appearance. That was a single. What does that do? Will it make any changes? <laughs> okay. Interesting. What else can I do? Not great deal. Don't really want to get into WebKit specific stuff. It's just checking what we've got there though, just in case something. Makes it. Better, but no, there's not. Muck about with the text and stuff, but it doesn't look like I can override the way the checkbox renders. I was just going to hope, I was hoping I could put a little bit of colour into it, but I don't think I can. Not in any meaningful way anyway. Right, so that's, that's a gonger. Get rid of that. Uh, 
we will live with what we have. It's, I mean, it's at least semi-accessible now. The labels are there. The only thing we do have a problem with is the buttons. Um, and that they are probably not going to work well with a screen reader. Um, don't know how to get around that at the moment. Because the text is coming through the slot. And I suspect this icon button is a nightmare for screen readers. In that the um, in that the SVG icon thing is probably like a bit of a problem. I don't know. I have to have a think on that. I might have to do something different there. Let's see if there's a way to do. A nicer normal button. That'd be ideal. Anyway, it's way better than it was. At least we now have um, tabbing. So you can actually get to the things. So I will save that off. Okay. I presume I can't do more than one of these. Let's try. Let's say that. Although technically I haven't really improved the styling. So, anyway. And what was that one? 26. 
I uh, just want to see if this actually completes them. Because I've got two, I have a feeling it's going to go bang and it will not com auto complete. But we'll give it a go. Okay, so come in, push. Right, uh, well, I think I'm kind of done for the day. It's good to get that done. I do need to think about what to do with these buttons because they're not accessible at the moment. Um, well, they are. It's just it's not a great flow going all the way around. I do need to see if there's a way I can stop focus going to the window itself. That's a bit of a pain. So go from here to the list, to the add, to the settings, and then to nowhere, and then back to search. And I don't know how I can stop that. I'll have to think about that. Let's see, did it update you these two? Yep, that's good, they both went. Neat. There you go. Sorted. Alrighty. Okay, well, uh, better go, better get started with my day. Um, so until next time, thanks for watching um, and you take care. Bye.